So we went to Emmy and we found out that. Hey, guess what? We found that. Remember the statue that we've seen? Or in the game? Yeah, it's technically a mastery way back to the city. Uh, yeah, I know, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, there will be a tap by Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a deal. That's with a wheel EMP attack. the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. Oh, no, it's tedious because it actually takes uh, too long. 
lost shields. about a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of 
all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. It's like I don't notice anything different about him. Now here's the thing, it would make more logical sense if they had like a too modest to sell, okay? Modern like prior modern before he had this wheeled arm thing and all those upgrades. And then the current model after that bio drone model would be looks like that. So that would make more logical sense. But since he his module doesn't change, it's like okay. Fancy hardware is not gonna save you. You still want to save I suppose me. I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. Okay. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet yeah, can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? Caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Yeah, here's the thing. Hold off, Joker. That's We're not sacrificing choice. human lives to save the Council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. Let the Council die to save the galaxy. A tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. And they made... All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're 
picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over. Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Make sure he's dead. Quick, Garrus, decapitate him. our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost.
Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? And then we were pursued dead. The only problem about that is that's not exactly good for sequels. Battery smiled in this game. We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy were still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. No. The galaxy is looking for leadership. Oh, the God. Citadel this fleets were decimated in the attack. Thing, the, the losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. So here's the... Here's where it gets really stupid. Because of the way they set this up. It's like, oh, well, humanity's gonna take over the Citadel and rule the galaxy. That's what sounds like on paper, you know. It's like, oh well, humanity's gonna take over. But the problem with is that doesn't happen. Sure, humanity is more relevant now, but the human, but it isn't what it's basically says it is. The Council was always holding us back. When I saw the opportunity to get rid of them, I took it. Good God, Shepard. How can you even say that? Don't act so surprised, Captain. We all know it's true. Sacrificing the Council assured our victory over Sovereign. The end justified the means. We humans understand that. It's what makes us stronger than the others. What are you saying? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old council. The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone. Humanity. Ah. <laughs> uh, see? See, look at this. The new council must be united by just humans. We will rule the galaxy. The only problem though is this doesn't happen. Because I'm asked to the steel council. <laughs> and last time we put, you know. It doesn't really matter, like. Uh. Anyway. The rest of the galaxy isn't just going to bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. 
Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know we're their only hope. We will have a human council with a human chairman. The Ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our chairman should be. Remember, this here... So basically, there's gonna be a human chairman to lead the human council. Yeah, it's like they retcon this entire sequence to just be the Which one did you choose to be the counselor? No, I chose which one to be the chairman of the entire Citadel, basically. But no, Mass Effect 1 does not re-register that. I mean, Mass Effect 1 registered that, but Mass Effect 2 kind of forgot the fact of what we chose. Well, besides... Who do we want to be the counselor? That is not the choice they're offering us in Mass Effect 1. It's like, apparently I guess they just decided that, hey, it doesn't make sense for, you know, humans to take over. We should have them just not. Usually we go with Captain Anderson, and we're still gonna go with Captain Anderson. Cause Eudina... Well, Mass Effect 3. We'll get into We're that. about to go into war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this. But I'll do what I can. So what happens now? So it sounds like such a big thing's gonna happen now. Like we're setting the groundwork up for Mass Effect 2. <laughs> the only problem is we're setting up groundwork that doesn't actually exist. It's like one of the most bullshit parts about Mass Effect 1 is just this ending part here. It's like. It's like he's painting the picture for something large and technically evil to happen. Like, we're basically, we're basically taking over the galaxy for humanity. That's what it sounds like. But then Mass Effect 2, and it's just, it's like it's completely retconned out of resistance. It's so weird. <laughs> You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. <sighs> yeah, about that. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny. Yeah, I'll take that, Andy. You got the red ending. That's a bit of blue there, too. God, I just remember. Is this gonna be who I think it is for the credits? Please tell me it is. Nope. Uh, yeah, I think we have to go through these credits before we get to those ones. But yeah. Massive that one. about this song. By the way, from copyright flags.
stomach out.
I almost just want this to be, I almost just want this to be the ending thumbnail. Just Easter or Easter. I'm totally going to make that turn up Easter or Easter. Because that just great. This is why we sat through the credits. Just because. Patience and support helped us reach the stars. Is there a thanks to us, the player? No? Byword doesn't give a shit about the players? You heard it. Byword doesn't give a shit about the players. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> East your streak. Ah, uh, that's great. I knew that. That made up the whole ending. Made up the whole ending. Huh. Yeah, it's like I don't remember that credit music at all. Yeah, it's been a while since I've sat through the credits. No reason I sat through the credits is easy to overstrain. Cause that's pretty great. But anyway. Yeah. That was Mass Effect 1, everyone. Dedicated thanks, of course, to Bioworld. Less dedicated thanks to EA. Because EA's... What was EA's thing? EA! It's in the game! What was it? Tell you play! I forget what EA's slogan was back in the day. All I know is they're pretty shit anymore. I they used to be decent. Now they're just... <laughs> they're pretty shit at everything they do. But anyway. That was Mass Effect 1. The ending is still bullshit because... We're gonna allow to elect a human council with a human showman to rule the galaxy. So Eudina basically will go simper palpating now for a while. Giraffe. But the problem is you go into Mass Effect 2 and the fuck? It doesn't exist. It's like we allowed to him as basically a counselor, not as the chairman of a human council. Because there's still the Turian. Asari. Salarian council. And honestly, he doesn't really get to do shit. He's just basically. He's basically just sort of there in Mass Effect 2. Like they're all just sort of there, but yet not, not even hardly relevant. It's like they took this whole premise from Mass Effect 1 and then basically scrapped it. Like, it sets up for all this stuff involving the humans taking control and all that, but then they just completely forgot about it when they made Mass Effect 2. <laughs> so it's like, it's one of the biggest what the fucks in the series. It gets worse though with Mass Effect 3, but with the WTF moments, but yeah. Anyway, next time we're going to Mass Effect 2. Yay. And then we can get into some actual systems that I can work with. Compared to the combat in this one. Like, before we cheated, it just got a bit. Like, I guess our gear just wasn't up to snuff because we were shooting those mercenaries and they took a while to die. And then they wiped us all out with shotguns that shot across the room. 
Eventually, we had shotguns that shot across the room, but still, shotguns shouldn't work that way. And the fact that we had shot a few things, and it didn't kill them. That's not how headshots work. So anyway... Yeah, I prefer the combat match about 2 and 3, more so than match about 1. I prefer the... The fact that there's no real loot system in Mass Effect 2 and 3. I mean, there is mods and stuff in 3, but it isn't as bad as it is in this one. Mass Effect 3 just suffers from the fact that there's too many weapons to sort through. <laughs> it's hard picking which one do you really want to use. By the way, next time. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all, and have a nice day. And remember, user alert, East Euro String. <laughs>